space. The final frontier. You know, it's in my head. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has... We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Scientists have discovered a human-made barrier around Earth protecting against the natural particle radiation in space. They believe the bubble was formed by very low frequency waves, or VLFs. VLFs have been found to interact with the particles in space, affecting how and where they move. VLFs are used for radio communications, including with submarines, because they can penetrate deep into the ocean. The waves can also travel far into the environment around Earth. By understanding more about how VLF transmissions help shape our space environment, we learn more about this complex region surrounding us. The more we know, the more situational awareness we have to protect our satellites from natural radiation in space. Captain, I'm detecting an unusual reading. It appears to be a neutrino emission with no visible source. Explanation. It is a mass of plasma energy contained within discrete boundaries by an outer covering of silicates, actinides, and carbonaceous chondrites. Explains why our beards didn't grow. The electromagnetic whirlwinds on the moon's surface make it virtually impossible to locate the source of the signal, Captain. Can we compensate? No, sir. The Tamarians are projecting a particle sustaining beam into the upper atmosphere. The result is a hyperionization that virtually disrupts all EM and subspace carriers. I found something, sir. We have a Decion field fluctuation on deck 9, section 28. Data, would you run a level 2 diagnostic on the warp subsystems? aggregate field of plain polarized objects has just appeared and disappeared. This new concentration of energy was detected only after the surrounding material became inert. Just as I thought, it is a Starfleet subspace distress signal, standard for Daedalus class starships. Gray shields. We can't get a pattern lock on their communicators because of the EM bursts, Captain. I recommend we launch a probe. Make it so. It's working, Captain. The reaction is producing Verdeon particles. Sensors are having difficulty penetrating the interior. However, the radiated output suggests a coherent system of 
energy storage and utilization. The asteroids contain large quantities of mechlinite, which is interfering with our scanners. I'm also detecting traces of kefnium. We still have to calibrate the plasma inverter, Commander. My guess is 45 minutes to an hour. I am adding virtual particle trajectories, expanding analysis parameters, including Bayesian functions, broad EM and subspace spectrum polling. Mm -mm. No change. No effect, Captain. Yet look at what we have just done. 